So this tells you that there are three black segments across this row and there has to be a white space in between each. So it has to be something like black, some number of whites, one black, some number of whites, one black. So black, white, black, white, black is the only thing that fits. So here, this is saying there's one black dot in this row with some number of whites, zero to four on the left and zero to four on the right. This is a two and then some number of whites and a one. This is some number of whites, a four and zero whites. White, black, etc. Same thing this way. So here's a one and a three. One and then a space and then a three. All right, so we're going to conquer this one lickety split. If I can find the chest with the blacks, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, oh, okay, I pressed the button. So what do we got here? We've got a one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've got a fifteen by fifteen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for some numbers that add up to fifteen. So for example, two plus three plus one plus one, that's equal to seven. 8, 9, 10. So if there was only one white in between, this would be 10. So I'm looking for a 15. 3, and I count 1 for the middle uh, because it's a minimum of 1. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. Here we go. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is 11, oh, this is a tough one, 13, shucks, this is a tough one, okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh boy, none of these add up to 15, now what are the carpets for, they don't mean anything, okay, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Oh, boxy, boxy. Is this 15 by 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I like having the row and I like having the grid lines. Now, what are these for? What are those for? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. So there are nine in this column. 15 minus nine is six. So if, if I were to, if this was a, um, a black, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight, nine. So all the way to here would be black. And if this were black, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to here would be black. So no matter what, these three blocks have to be black in this uh, particular column. And so the same thing in this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no matter what, those have to be black. It doesn't help us that much, but if I do see something with a seven, then I believed. Six, seven. Mm, no, that doesn't necessarily mean that that. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can expect, inspect these numbers for symmetry. So this is symmetry. This has symmetry, a one on either side of the seven, but these do not. 
So the, the picture is not symmetrical in this plane. Uh, these are not symmetrical either. So it's not symmetrical in this plane. Unfortunately, that is really all that I know for sure. Uh, it is likely that this is a... Uh, it's not really... doesn't really tell me anything. Doesn't really tell me anything. Okay, it's likely that this is part of the seven. Because if it was the one and then a white space, there's obviously not seven blocks here. So let's assume that this one right here is part of the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those have to be black. No question about it. And I'm going to check my phone. What is this? Okay, I don't know why my wife's texting me about that subject right now. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. Now we're getting somewhere. This is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If these are white and this is the first one, then these six would be there. But I, I don't know for sure, but I know these for sure. Okay, so now... Oh, okay, that didn't tell us anything here. I do think this is probably symmetrical with seven being the center, but I'm not sure. Okay, here's what this tells us. These three blocks cannot be part of the two. So let's pretend that it's one, two, three, four. So if this is black, these over here definitely have to be white. If this is black, okay, there's too many options for the two. This also has to be part of the four, which leaves one. Ah, nothing I can do with that. Okay, this could be the three space one, two, three, four. So, therefore, we know that this cannot be. I wonder. I want to press this twice. Oh, good. Okay, good. I am going to use the gray space as a possible and a white space as a nope. This can definitely not be uh, because one, two, three, four, five, and then a white space won't fit here. So these three have to be part of the five. So let's assume this is the first one, two, three, four, five. Five. So this one cannot be part of the five. And there's nothing else beyond the five. So those have to be white for sure. And if this is part of the five going this way. Okay, we don't actually know. We don't actually know anything for sure. So this is going to actually take me quite a while. To play this little game. Okay, so remember I said these were part of the four. Let's assume that this is the first, second, third, fourth. So we'll leave this one gray. So this one can definitely not be part of the four and there's nothing beyond it. So this is basically a process of elimination in two dimensions. And I don't know any other data about these. And I don't know any data about this. Ooh, man, this is a tough one, Box. This is a really tough one. I could guess at some squares, but I can't be certain. Man, I can't be certain about any of these. Okay, so maybe there's another trick that I don't know. I've pretty much exhausted all of the tricks that I do know. I really wish I could get some clue about this row right here would help me quite a lot. But it's not to be. So I'm going to play with this one and I'll be back. Okay, here's a really good breakthrough. This is an edge condition. So 
We know this one is white, so that actually only leaves eight blocks here. And we know that a seven has to fit somewhere, and a seven won't fit here, so this has to be seven. So that means these middle six are black, and either this one is white, or this one is white, and the opposite one is black. Now we don't know the answer to that yet, but what this does is this allows me to know that the first black is four long and following that should be a white. And the first black is four long, and following that should be a white. The first black is five long, five and a white, four long. So this is gonna help me immensely. This is the kind of breakthrough I was looking for. Now, what I like to do when I, and this is a one, so that's a white. Now, we've actually got some data over here. Six, one, two, three, four, five, can't be, so this must be a black. Six and then one. Okay, so the one could be anywhere here. Uh, this is a three. So this must be a black, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, this must be a white. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So this is the one, then this must be part of the four. One, two, three. So this one has to be a black. And it's either these two or these two or some combination thereof. And therefore this one cannot be a black. Nor can this, 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 or this. All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. A picture is starting to form here. Oh, this is a white, so this is a three. So this is a white. This would be seven. Okay, can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything. Okay, so the upper corner of this picture, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is. This has to be a four. Okay, we already did that one. There's no other data up here. Okay. This has to be part of the five. No, almost, almost can do something with that one. Okay. All right, let's look this way. I already did six and one. Nope. Six, okay, six and zero. So all of these are white because we've already got our six in this column. And is this a five? One, two, three, four, five. We don't know where the two could be. This is a one, two, one. This is a nine. Oh, here's something interesting. So these have to be white because there's no way nine will fit in these three blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these are all black. Good, now we're getting somewhere else. Okay, we already knew about the four. We can't make any judgments here. This has to either be a five or a three. Uh, it has to be part of the five. We knew that already, actually. Five, and there's four, so we're inconclusive. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, this is four right here. This has to be four because it's the largest number. That means this is white and this is white. That means the two has to fit in here and the one is either here or here or here. Great, four and two. Okay, so if this is the four and we need two, this cannot be a two because it's just one. So these are two. See what I'm doing here? Process of elimination. I love it. I like it a lot, a lot. If this is white, these have to be white. Okay, I think I have, and this has to be the six. Six, okay, that's inconclusive. Well, what is this here? One, four, and two, nope. Did I learn anything here? Seven, two, and two. 
Okay, so white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of these is black for the two, and then a white, and then one of these are both black which now also allows me to know that this is white and this is white. All right, I'm gonna keep doing this. Okay, so I've completed what I believe the nonogram to be, the picture, but it doesn't look like any discernible picture I've ever seen. For example, this one to me looks like a dog. So here's the back leg and the tail, the body, the front leg, the head and the two ears. But this thing over here doesn't look like anything. So I'm gonna press this unscramble button and I have no idea what these do. So I almost wonder if I should just press this or should I hit some of these things? I kind of have a feeling that those are clues, but I'm not sure. Okay, I hit unscramble and I figured out what these do. So I am on the right track. Okay. Assuming I didn't change those two numbers over there, and I pressed the button, and assuming I got it all right. All right, there are my five code fragments. Assuming they're correct, what is down this way then, or up this way? Maybe this leads out to that village? Got a decent number of torches. Huh, I was hoping your friend would run in front of you. But he didn't. Okay, there's something at the end. Ooh, what is this? Unknown map. I hear blazes. Here blazes. Oh. Well, that was a trap chest. Okay, that's telling me to go to that house in the village. Oh boy, there's still more. Oh no. Is this the main room? Ah. Oh. Interesting. So that implies that there's nothing up and over this vill up and up up and over this awesome build that you made. <laughs> there we go. But I'm gonna peek because this is really good. I like think that you should definitely take advantage of a good looking build. It's a really nice, really nice evolution of the traditional temple. Look at that. I mean, that looks like the normal desert temple grew. It's good. Okay, let's go. I guess we go out. All right, we'll use this one here to get back to the road, and then I got to figure out which way to go from the road. Okay, here's the way to Quarry Vale. Now, if you already watched my bonus episode, you will have already seen me ex... Oh, shoot. Explore... <laughs> Explore the entire town, so there's no reason for me uh, to do that. I'm going to go straight to 495.6 is the title. That's interesting. I wonder if that's coordinates. I'm going to go straight to the, uh, the building indicated on this map. If you did not watch that episode, well, go ahead and do that. And what I expect, well, there's one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to get to the town and all of a sudden all those NPs are going to be active. Or they're still going to be inactive and they will be active at the start of the next map. The fourth map or fourth episode as he calls them. I think he should have called them chapters, not episodes. Because that interferes with YouTube. Just a little bit of friendly neighborhood um, advice from somebody who likes to talk about a lot of stuff. All right, here I am coming up the trail. And this, again, is a really pretty looking village. And it's indicating this building on my right, which is the Librar. The Libraria. 
four nine. Oh, I know what the four ninety five point six means. I totally know what it means. It's the Dewey Decimal number. Probably for history. Here we go. Oh, I could have found this earlier and I didn't. Is there a is there a mop? Oh, it's a lever. Okay, what is this? This is completely unexpected. All right, we'll step on this before we open the chest. Finally, we're out of that hot desert. Yeah, we've all been across Boxeros mm. now. <laughs> we must be getting close to the treasure. I hope so. I miss cinnamon. I'm certain we're close. Mm. We are going to help my father and get cinnamon back. Yes, we need to stay positive. Oh, bye, Sarah. Mm. Thanks, Sarah. Sarah, you're going to mm. die. We've collected so many code fragments and come so far that we can't fail now. Right, let's get some rest and then see where the next map leads us. Thanks for playing. Satoshi's Treasure Episode 3. To be continued. Oh, I thought for sure she was going to, uh, to get killed based on that dialogue. Uh, I did collect five. Write down all the code fragments. You will need them for the final episode. I think there's two more, though. There's this one, and then I think there's one more episode. I'll write these down. See you next time.